Greetings, watchers, and welcome to the Dr. Dark and Gerald show, as usual. And I mentioned back in our Sonic Adventure 2 review that we'd be reviewing Sonic Adventure 1 next. And, you know, uh, that review has been delayed due to reasons that you people shouldn't care about. And I figured, considering today is Sonic's 20th anniversary, we should review Sonic the Hedgehog 1 for the Genesis. And no, Dr. Dark cannot be with me today due to, again, reasons you people shouldn't care about. And without further ado, our review of Sonic 1 for the Genesis. Okay, Sonic 1 for the Genesis, and yes, I'm playing this on Sonic Mega Collection, don't judge me. It was the first Sonic game ever, technically not Sonic's first appearance. He first appeared making a cameo in a racing game, and normally I wouldn't state off trivia facts. But you know, it's Sonic's 20th, so let's be respectful. Anyway, I should go over the story first. I know you're thinking Genesis, what story is there, but this game actually does have a story. Basically, the island of South Island has been invaded by Dr. Eggman, and he's using all the animals to power up his robots, and he's looking for the Chaos Emeralds, and he's going to conquer the world. And we are introduced to Sonic the Hedgehog, who simply will not have that. And that's basically it. You know. Pretty simple story, you know, all good stuff. And the gameplay is incredibly simple. You're just trying to reach the goal, collecting rings, avoiding spikes and badniks. And you're, uh, you have an amazing plethora of moves, and no, I'm not complaining, I'm just trying to make a joke out of it. You can walk, you can jump, uh, and you can spin into a ball like this when you press down while you're running, a move that would later be known as the spin dash. And I think we're at the end of the level. Yep, we are. Oh, and I should show off the special stage, shouldn't I? And then you're, you get a ranking screen, and you're given points based on t how many, uh, how long it took you to beat the level and all the rings you got. Anyway, here's a special stage. Basically, you're just uh, guiding Sonic through this maze to one of the Chaos Emeralds. And I haven't played this in forever, so if I screw up like an idiot, please forgive me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, well. But anyway. Um... So yeah, that's a special stage. I've basically gone over all the gameplay, so this is probably gonna be one of our, this is probably gonna be our shortest review yet. And you have a total of uh, I think seven zones. There's Green Hill Zone, Marble Zone, um, I think Spring Yard Zone, then Labyrinth Zone, Starlight Zone, Scrap Brain Zone, and Final Zone. And Final Zone is really just the Scrap Brain Zone boss. But anyway. Um, you have two acts of a stage, and then a third act, which will be a stage, but in the end, instead of going through a signpost, you'll, uh, fight a boss. And, uh, in this game's sequels, they kind of improved that by having, um, where, like, in Sonic 2, it was two acts and then a boss at the end of the second act, and in Sonic 3 and Knuckles, it was a boss at the end of each act, and there were two acts to a zone. So, you know... Hey, it's all good stuff. And I'm just gonna show you the boss. It's at the end of the next act. But anyway, yeah, you have all your crazy zones. You got Green Hill Zone, you know, the classic. Everyone loves it. And you got Marble Zone, another classic, but it's kind of underrated. Mario actually makes a cameo in that zone. Fun fact of the day. Then you got Spring Yard Zone, pretty much my favorite zone in the game with the awesomest music ever. And then you got Labyrinth Zone, which everyone hates. Then we have Starlight Zone, which doesn't make any sense why it's not being teased to be in Sonic Generations at all. And then you got Scrap Brain Zone, which has become more and more iconic over the years. And then Final Zone is just a Scrap Brain Zone boss. And if I got them in the wrong order, please forgive me. Like I said, I haven't played this game in a while. Anyway, uh, here, this is the shield. It'll take uh, one hit for you, like that. And then after that, we have other, uh, there's one other power-up, there's the speed shoes, which will speed you up for, uh, about a half a minute. And I should mention that the spin move can be used to break some walls, as you can see here. Uh, it's all about building momentum. There we go. And bad mix. Ah, come on. I glitched right through that platform. Although I could just suck at the game, but oh well. Oh, and, those, and there are the little boxes that give you ten rings. Invincibilities, those will make you invincible for a short period of time. And here's the boss. 
my first encounter with Dr. Robotnik, or Eggman, if you prefer to call him that. I prefer to call him Eggman, because I, I grew up on the Dreamcast with Sonic Adventure 1 and 2, and he was referred to as Eggman in those games. But I'm just kind of calling him Robotnik, if you want me to. But anyway, there we go. Dead. And that's basically Green Hill Zone. Uh, and there, at the end of each zone, you uh, release the capsule that frees all the little animals, and they go and repopulate the zone. But then again, when we get to the zones in the latter half of the game, I really don't see how any animals could live there, but hey, stranger things are happened. And here's Marble Zone. I'm not going to go through it for you, but hey, look, if you notice right up here on this pillar here, that's where Mario makes his cameo. Uh, oh, I'm going to try and zoom in on it. Yeah, right there. You can see a little bit of Mario faces on that uh, on those blocks there, but yeah. That's Mario's cameo. Anyway, uh, I think I've basically gone into the whole game. It's an incredibly simple game, and I'm, sh and I'm really not shocked that it's considered a classic among gamers out there. It's even listed as one of the official, well not really official, it's just there's this one uh, book out there called 1000 Games to Play Before You Die, and this is one of those games. But anyway, so yeah, that's Sonic 1 for the Genesis. Uh, I give it a 9 out of 10. Dr. Dark might disagree with me, but hey, he's not here, so I can call the shots today. But yeah, I give it a 9 out of 10, and uh, this is uh, Dr. Dark and Gerald's show signing off. And happy 20th to Sonic. Let's hope we can get 20 more years out of him.